Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Jeff Fu, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to capture new email clients with pop-ups and forms without making it too of, like, an intrusive thing. So I'm going to get right to the point. I'm not going to waste your time. So um, first thing that we're going to do is download this th this app in the app store right here. Um, it's a built-in Shopify app, so it is completely free. We're going to install this. And then while we wait for that to download, it'll pop up right here. All right, and now as you can see, this page is blank right here. So we're gonna click this button right here that says create form. Um, we're gonna do this one right here that says pop-up. We're gonna title this one, um, we're gonna title this one 10%, 10% off. All right, now we're gonna create this pop-up right here. Um, it's gonna be a floating one because we don't wanna do an overlay one. It's gonna be a little bit um, intrusive for the people. Um, I'm gonna put it on the bottom right because I prefer it over there. We're going to go here, select this 10% uh, off discount here, welcome 111. Um, then we're going to do this, show before the form. So I don't want this form to be here. Um, I want it to be show before the form and if the customer closes. So I want it to be like this little thing right here looking like this. We're going to title this um, get 10% 10 off. Yeah, get 10% off. Put a little exclamation mark there. Title, we're gonna 10% off first order. We'll title it like that. Um, get inspiration, no, we're definitely not doing that. And then we're just gonna have it so that it's the first name and email, so we don't have to be asking for the last name, do all this different stuff. So we're gonna just do this. Sign up for early access. To drops news exclusive discounts. All right, we really want people to like encourage people to sign up for our form here. So we want to make it as tiny enticing as possible. So we have this. Keep it simple. Sign me up like that. By signing up, you agree. Uh, here's your discount. Um, we don't want to do this, actually. We have it set up like this so we can actually like show that it's a real person and then they can claim um, their reward with a real email, not like a fake email that they just keep spamming in there for a discount. So we're just gonna put in content right here and it's gonna be like, check email for your 10% off code. We'll put, a little, we'll put a little smiley face right there. Uh, text colors, everything here is fine. Form fields, white, Helvetica, I don't really care about all this. Devices, we're going to show this on all devices. Um, and then to do it on display first, page view. And then personally, I'm going to put this at like 10 seconds. So, because I don't want it to just pop up immediately and people are going to be like, what the hell is this? Um, and then right here, I have a setup. I have an automation setup already. So I'll run you through that. So for now... We're just going to save this and then we're going to go to online store, install this right here. All right. Set it up in my store. So it actually pops up in the bottom corner. All right. And then I'm going to show you guys through the automation that I have set up. So um, this is the current automation that I have set up. We have this start when customers subscribe to email marketing. So that's going to be on the first page. Um, and then we're going to have it set up for this because we don't want to send the same automation if a customer just checked out. So we, because obviously they're going to be like, what the heck? Welcome, like 10% off. Like, why did I not get this before? If all conditions are met, not equal to checkout, we're going to leave that like that. That's going to be the default. And then we're going to send the marketing email. Um, so right here, I have this email set up right here. 10% off first order. So welcome, you have joined the code one movement, 10% off first order. And then I just put in the for the discount code right here and a link to apply the discount along with some different products that I have set up here. Apply changes, this workflow is turned on. Once you apply changes, it'll take effect immediately. Yeah, we wanna do that. So that is on currently. And now we're just gonna check out the website. So see, as you can see here, um, it's not a super intrusive pop-up. It just kind of pops up in the corner. Get 10% off. You can click that. Sign up. See, because if it just popped up with this immediately, look at this. It's doing way too much. So it's it pops up like this, and it's way less intrusive than having a big-ass pop-up 
I really don't think Google will rank your website very well if you have this big ass pop up just instantly coming up on the screen. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to check out the website on the browser. So code11.us bring us to our main website. Um, we have a setup here. So as you can see, the, I'm just browsing through the website. Oh, I got the new bunny tee, got the new uh, $11 tee, got some shorts. So as you can see, I've been browsing around for a little bit and this little form pops up here and I can just access this 10% off first order, sign up for early access to drops, news and exclusive discounts, fill all this information out, sign up and then they'll get that email right to their inbox. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any video recommendations, anything you want me to cover, please leave it in the comments down below and drop a subscription to the channel because I'm gonna start being way more consistent. I'm gonna try to drop at least one or two videos a week um, just about, about my clothing brand and trying to build it. All right now I've been doing this for about a year, so I have a little bit of experience, but I'm still pretty much a beginner in this. So I got a lot to learn and um, I want to take y'all on this journey with me as I grow and make mistakes, you know, and I'm gonna be going over different mistakes I've made. I'm gonna give y'all the help that I wish that I had when I first started, but yeah, love y'all.